Hi, in today's video, I'm going to talk about time management in Max. So there is something in Max that can help you to schedule events. Um, and with that, I mean that we can postpone, we can say that after a certain time interval or a certain time uh, frame, we can uh, output some information we can like uh, make something happen in the future so let's start with um, postponing and scheduling uh, events uh, at a certain time interval and in order to do that we have to uh, create uh, an object called metro metro as the description says um, output a bank message at regular intervals and one one unit of mm, time measurement is milliseconds there are other way to measure time in max but for simplicity of this video i'm gonna just talk about this uh one option so treating time as a um, millisecond so you probably know that one second is equal to 1000 milliseconds so this is something that we have to you have to keep in mind and uh, i'm gonna create three uh, message boxes one saying 500 so up second another one 1000 and another one 2000 if you're wondering how I copied this uh, object, copied and pasted this object uh, quite fast, um, I um, select the object and hold Option, uh, the Option key on my keyboard, and drag and drop the object. So we and we can do that for um, as many objects as we select. Um, so, for instance, so let's say we want to copy this uh, block of messages from here to another point of the patch I have to just select them and hold option and drag and drop them this is quite uh, this is a super useful trick to speed up your uh, patching so um, then we have to activate this metro we have to say okay start the engine and uh, after of course we set these values because you can see here we have a um, called inlet which means store this information here in the metro so set the metro uh set the time interval uh to the metro um by clicking one of these i can also um make this uh static so i can give um, a value um as a as an argument of this object but right? for instance 1000 and also um, in order to activate this object uh, if I want to have it um, on uh, at launch we can also set an attribute called active an active is just an, an, a method of this object so it calls um, a, a function uh, inside the object and um, and in this case, active turns uh, this is an activation flag, and with flag usually we give values of zero and one, so zero for um, uh, off and one for on. Uh, so in this case, we are going to put a one here. So if I connect a bank, a button object uh, here, we will see that every one thousand milliseconds a bank gets outputted. If I put if I send 2000 milliseconds, now the time interval is going to be slower, so the output is going to be also slower and faster if I click on 500 milliseconds. Good. The only thing is that I cannot, st with, with um, attributes, um, I cannot change them, I cannot modify them, I cannot modify the the parameter of in this case the flag of activation uh when i have the patch locked so um another way to make this activation and deactivation dynamic is to delete this or we can even keep it and send a toggle 
connect a toggle to the first inlet, which sends out um, one and zero. So when we are going to launch the patch, the metro is going to be uh, activated uh, with a with a time interval 1000 milliseconds. And uh, of course, if I click then here, uh, this is one and we are just sending one. So it's skill it is going to keep working but when i send at zero the bang the um, bangs uh, not get outputted anymore and the metro object is um, disabled another way to postpone and delay some some actions uh, in the future um, is to uh, use the object called delay so the delay object delay a bang after a certain time specified in milliseconds in this case so i'm going to just copy and paste this for uh, these three elements connect them to the um, second inlet the logic is the same the first inlet the second inlet uh, gets the delay time in milliseconds and the first inlet um, gets the gets the incoming message that we want to output in our case in the case specific case of delay it needs uh, um, banks so i'm gonna connect the object uh, button here select 1000 connect another bank and press this bank we will see that after one second i click this button the bank is going to be outputted if i click 2000 and then i so i set 2000 as a delay time and then i click here after two seconds i get this um a bank good mm, that means that i can also uh, delay events uh sent by the metro object for instance uh, in, but for this vi this video is just an introduction to this uh to this concept so i'm gonna keep things uh simple another way to call this object delay is to type just del and these two objects are basically the same. And most of the time you're going to see this, this abbreviation, this short way of uh, create an instance of the delay, a delay object. Another um, way to output and delay uh, other data types like numbers, symbols and list is uh, by using the object pipe which delay numbers list of sims as i said and uh, the logic is the, the same here we set the delay time and here we give the um, the type of message that we want to output after a certain time frame so uh, let's start with a, um, a symbol like hello and we want to let's say print in the max console this message after a certain time frame so let's say 500 2000 and 1000 again so i click on 2000 and when i click on this hello message after two seconds the value will be printed in the uh, max console Something is not working. Let's see. I said 2000. I send a message hello. Yeah, I should be get print out. If I put 500 and I click then on hello, it gets faster. And this is like the other uh, um, time frame that I selected. So if I want to print a number, let's say. after two seconds and let's say 10 click enter after two seconds i get the 10. now for list so for a group for a set of uh, values we need 
to do something different uh, in the pipe, uh, with the pipe. So we can just copy and paste uh, this, this block and uh, let's delete this. And I want to just print out a list A, B, C. Now I have to set uh, different um, inlets, different arguments, because this is gonna like get the number of information, like the number of inputs that we want to um, delay. And uh, the, the last uh, number corresponds to the um, delay time. So I'm, gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna move this delay time values um, here to the last inlet. And uh, we are gonna have now three outlets. And each of them will correspond to one of the element of the list. So in order to output the list again, Again, we have to do something like pack with C and uh, then write sim, sim, and sim, sim stays for symbol. And I'm going to connect just this, uh, each output to each inlet, like this. I use the pack with C because, as you know already, if you watched the previous videos, um, I talked about the um, order of outputs uh, in an object, and an object always get uh, start from right to left. So whenever we uh, send this this list here, we know that the first element, the C, is going to be output first, then the B, and then the A. Uh, so they're going to get collected in this object, but the outputs is going to happen only when it receives the last um, input. Then I connect the pack object to the print. Let's clear the max console. I set 2000. And uh, if I click now on ABC, we'll see that after two seconds, uh, we get the list that we sent. So that was for today. Um, and I hope you found this video interesting and although it was quite basic and see you on next week bye